Hello everyone and welcome to Life of Paul and I've got four five pound cards. Hooray! I don't know what I'm saying, hooray. <laughs> this is four pound four five pound cards. I got one gold fever, one five hundred loaded, one Xmas, and one twelve pays of Christmas. Twenty pound in total. Can I win? Can I win? Can I take some cash off Camelot? Let's spin the camera and find out. I do like a mix of cards, and I know a lot of you are enjoying the mix. Number 40. Hopefully I win 40 quid. You win 40 quid? No, you win 50 quid though. Hopefully I win 50 quid. Dream big, the lottery says. So that's big side dream with these guys. So we've got a load of high definition symbols as they advertise them. And what we're trying to do is reveal one of them by scratching off all four squares in the game. Now, there are nine different games. So some of these will be duplicated. Guess which ones get duplicated a lot. And uh, you scratch your numbers off here. So I've got 22, scratch it off in here, 22. And I'm revealing a bit of the diamond, which is worth 5,000 pounds. Number 20, uh, revealing a bit of another diamond by the look of it. Damn, because there's no way I'm winning on that. Number 12, bit of the crown. That's more like it, that's a tenner. The 15. What you don't want to do is scratch off. Is that another diamond? It is. I've got three diamonds. Hmm. What you don't want to do is bounce around too much, like I'm doing, because you want to get them all in one square. 227. So at the moment, I'm just bouncing one off per square. That is not ideal. 26. Number four. 24, yes, yeah, definitely the diamond. 19, stop it. Number 11, that's more like it. Got my eyes set on the crown. And that's the sad thing about the, the scratch cards. Five, you don't dream big on them. It's a purse, it's 20 quid. 36, yeah, I'm just bouncing around. This ain't no good. 23. Stop it. You know, you're not going to give it to me. 33. Number 9. It's more like it. Come on, give me that number 10. Number 3. 34. That's a fiver, the wads, so... Possible. Number 7. 1 or 35, don't care which. <laughs> 1 or what number 1 really. 10 will do as well. 35. I asked for one of them and I got, blimey O'Reilly. So we got the wads for a fiver. Yay, let's move on. Again, I don't know why I'm, again, I don't know why I'm saying yay because um, card number 56, it's just me money back. Let's get a big win. Looking for money bags, we got a money bag. That's what we're after. Money bag is a win. No, it's not a full card for anyone gets excited. Double pound. <laughs> double pound is a double win. And so that's crown briefcase and a wad. And a diamond would be win all. Wallet, pot of gold, a roll, and a safe. Star and a clover. Coin and horseshoe, to be honest. I, 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 it crossed my mind. Purse, a bank. A chest, a watch, a necklace, a palm, a bag, and a nugget. It promised so much and delivered. Well, what did it deliver? It delivered so little. Fiver. Okay. Okay. So we are chugging along. Right. Xmas. Come on. Give us a win and something that isn't money back. Triple zero as well. Do you like the low numbers? So I'm going to go on a symbol hunt first of all. It's money bags again for a win or diamond for a win all. Come on, money bag. No. So because we've got no money bags, we're looking for a match. So looking for number four. If you find number four, get a match, get a win. Nope. 51, find 51, get a match, get a win. Nope. 
55 no 54 then nope and number nine nope what about the times two can we find number 19 sadly not and number 14 for a times five sadly not again oh well use we won't get to keep getting wins, will we? Right, last but not least, 12 pays of Christmas. Do you like a good pun? Oh, 58. Car 58 for you statisticians. So what we're looking for is two symbols to match. So Escape and Christmas Day don't match, so no win. Pizza pie and an earmuff. Mince pie and an earmuff. A Rolos and a Snowflake. Holly and a skate, star and a ball ball, present and a ski lift, jumper and a star, coins and a snowflake, bell and a stack, tree and some rollos, skate and a mince pie, and a few skates. It's like my local chippy, full of skates. Bell and a mountain. Glove and ski lift, put in a jumper, holly and an igloo. Are we going to get that win on the third and uh, fourth of final card even? Igloo and a present, ski lift and a double, snowflake and a mince pie, start and a stack, present and a pizza party, bauble and a tree, rollos and a bauble. Three for a thousand smackaroonies and a piece of pie. It looks a little bit like the tree, doesn't it? I wonder if I could convince the lottery that it was actually a win. Right, it was a dud. It was a dud. Let's just bring in the two winners and zoom out the camera. And there we go, save myself some editing. So we got £20 in play, and I got a fiver and a fiver for £10. So say it with me. <laughs> twenty pound spent, ten pound back, ten pound down, half my money. <sighs> Does it sound the back of the cards? You are probably going to get half your money back. It should be a, a bit somewhere on there somewhere. I don't know. Mm. I always like that. It always makes me laugh. Oh, as prizes are won, the number of prizes will reduce. That's like saying, as you drink out of your glass, the amount of liquid in your glass reduces. Thank you for that, Camelot. Right. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you again in another video real soon. Cheer, everyone. Bye.